Welcome and let's go review Mega Man for the NES. I have a gaming confession to make. I've never played a Mega Man game before. Or more accurately, I've never put any significant time in a Mega Man game before. I might have played an opening level or two on a couple of the games a few times, but I never really sat down to beat a Mega Man game before this review. So my premise for this review is really just to kind of give a 2021 perspective on a 1987 Capcom classic. I don't have the manual, so I don't know much about the story of the game, but you're presented with six bosses slash levels, and once you beat them, you're given a seventh level, Dr. Wily. Don't mistake this last level as being similar in length to the others. Depending on how good you are, most of the levels can be beat in 10 minutes or so, but this final level is probably about three or four levels rolled into one. It's about a third or fourth of the game all by itself. It feels like this game has two faces. Part of it is easy, kind of standard action platforming. While other parts seem extremely hard and designed by the devil himself. For me, the difficulty is much more polarizing in this game than something like Castlevania, which had a more natural curve to its difficulty. So while this game is a bit more inviting than other hard NES games of that time, I mean, you can beat a few of the levels fairly easy. Uh, it's kind of like the opening to Battletoads. Once you actually start getting into the meat of the game, it starts getting really hard, it ramps up, and this is probably among the hardest NES games you can face. Let's talk about the controls. Mega Man controls all right, you got your one button that shoots, the other one jumps. Once you defeat a boss, you gain a new power that you access by pressing the start button and selecting that power. I found the controls to be problematic. Uh, they're not as precise as I would like. Platforming was probably the biggest challenge in the game. Uh, another big challenge in the game is there's a lot and a lot of slowdown. And it causes a bunch of cheap deaths. While there are some skills that you have to develop to beat some of the bosses, uh, sometimes it really just came down to getting lucky with the RNG. You can see in this battle I died several times before this, but in this matchup I mainly just stood there and I got the win. It wasn't because I got any better at the game, I just got lucky with the RNG. And that cheapness stands out to me and holds this game back a bit. It's not as refined as, as you would hope, and I'm looking forward to the other games in this series to see if this is improved upon any. The graphics are good, the music is good too, and when things are going well, this is a fun game. But there are these handful of moments that will have you tearing your hair out or throwing the controller across the room and vowing to never play another NES game ever again. Or, at least until you're ready to play Mega Man 2. <laughs> 